Hi, welcome to Biostock Studio. Concussions are a common occurrence in contact sports like American football, rugby, and ice hockey. They can sideline players for months at a time and even end their careers. Addressing this issue is medtech company Polar Cool. They're developing the medical device Polar Cap, which actively cools down the brain in the acute phase of injury to decrease concussion symptoms. Results from a five-year clinical study with the device have just been published in the Journal of Neurotrauma. And here to tell us more is Polarcool CEO, Eric Anderson. Welcome, Eric. Thank you. So what is PolarCap exactly? How does it work? Uh, like you said earlier, I think you described it perfectly, by the way, but PolarCap is a medical device. It's CE marked, uh, and it is a concussion treatment in the acute phase of injury. And it's recommended to be used as soon as possible and the treatment time is 45 to 60 minutes. And it is a head cap, which you put on the head, that cools the brain down to normal temperature. Mm -hmm. So uh, now that you have these five-year results out, how does it feel? Well, it, it feels super, I, I must say. And it's been something that we have looked at for a very long time. We spent the last five years watching this clinical trial being conducted. And it feels so great now that it's finally been peer-reviewed and published and especially that the results are, are so gratifying and so good. Well, for those who are not aware, uh, could you give us a few more details about the study? Well, there were a lot of endpoints in the study, uh, and I can start by saying that all of them were actually significant positive in favor of the treatment group, so that's like fantastic. But if I had to point out one specific, I would say that it's the long-term effect that I see as by far the most gratifying result. And what they looked at was the proportion of players that suffered that long-term effect. And they looked at the treatment group and the control group. And as you see here on the slide showing is players and the proportion of players that were still not back in play after 100 days, which is a very long absent from play. And you see here that 10% of the players in the untreated group were still not back in play after that time. And in this case, it was 7 out of 71 players. And I can also add to these numbers that 5 of them actually were not back after 300 days. And 4 of them will likely not play hockey again. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a very negative result in the control group. But then, looking at the treatment group, we see that those effects does not exist there. So it's a very positive thing for these players that were treated with polar cap. And also the fact, I can also add that, that the longest recovery time in the treatment group were only 31 days. So that's by far the, the most gratifying effect that I've seen. Uh, that's a major difference. Can you say, what does this mean? What do these results mean from the player's perspective? Well, obviously, I mean, health in general is like the most important thing. I think we all can agree on that. Yeah. Uh, and that's also for a player. I mean, you want to be healthy. You want to be playing. You don't want to be on the sideline. Uh, and especially not suffering long-term consequences that actually can occur if you suffer a concussion. Mm -hmm. And for that case, in this case now, with this proven clinical, in, clinical effect, I mean, the, the treatment with polar cap could have great benefits for, for all players uh, that suffers a concussion around different sports in, in the world. Mm -hmm. Well, you used to be a professional ice hockey player yourself. Um, and as I, as I understand it, you had to cut your career uh, short because of a concussion. How would polar cap have um, played a role in your career if you had uh, access to that? Well, well, first of all, I must say that I wish that I had had polar cap when I was playing so I could have been treated. Mm. Uh, and you're absolutely right. Unfortunately, I had to uh, end my career due to concussion. Uh, I had a very long recovery. It took me over one and a half years before being able to start to work in a small time capacity. So I, I know what it means in terms of having those long term effects. And that was like the foundation why I wanted to pursue this and why I had to join Polar Cool. Uh, and if we can help players not needing to suffer those consequences, I mean, that's, that's hard to even put a price tag on. Mm -hmm. that's, that's like so positive. Uh, and I wished, like I said, that, that I would have gotten the chance to, to lower that risk and potentially not being able to uh, have that, that long absence. Of course. Um, well, you, you've talked about the player's perspective. Uh, how are teams looking at these results? 
Well, the foundation is, is of course, this clinical effect, uh, which is like the foundation for Polar Cool uh, in, our, in our work. But looking from a club-wise perspective, uh, of course, there's a financial aspect. And having players uh, sidelined is, of course, a cost for clubs. Mm -hmm. uh, and they want to have them on the pitch and on the rink playing. Uh, and with this result, one can see that during these five years, uh, a team that has provided Polar Cap has actually saved 59 days annually due to reduced absence from concussions. Mm. Uh, and for SHL, uh, as an example, you have an, an average cost for a player per month for like 150,000 up to 200,000. Uh, and you do the math then if you have two months of, of lowered injury time due to concussion. So that's, that's a lot of... Uh, financial benefits that, that also those clubs could gain from this. But what I want to also address is that it's not all about the money because mm -hmm. we also have teams in the lower leagues who are almost playing on a pro bono basis. And I mean, we now have clubs in, in Sweden where they have leaders who like say that we want this to our players. We want them to be healthy. We want them to play. We want them to be healthy off ice also to be able to work. So, I mean, it's it's also in that sense very important. And like I said, what is, what is more important and valuable than your health? Exactly, and it's beneficial all the way around. Um, well, in, in, in what comes next for, for Polical now that you have these results? Uh, well, like I said, we, we spent very long time now following this uh, and we have been awaiting and hoping uh, and wishing for these results, mm -hmm. which are in a sense uh, by far better than we could have expected, which is super positive, so we're, we're so glad. Uh, but what we now look for is to like, get in a broader acceptance within the medical uh, community, uh, because we know now when we're talking to clubs and, and federations that the medical acceptance uh, is central in our work in, in establishing polar cap as, as the treatment for concussion, because we're the only one available. Uh, so we're like the first mover. Uh, but we definitely see this creating momentum and, and creating a, a larger acceptance within uh, the sports field of, of concussions and the medical community that surrounds it. Well, speaking of creating momentum within the medical community, uh, you'll be presenting this data at an upcoming uh, major uh, conference uh, at the end of the month. Could you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, and, and I can just start by saying that the timing now with, with this publication couldn't be more couldn't be better in that sense because this conference that you're referring to is, is a consensus conference. It's held every fourth year, mm -hmm. uh, so it's not happening so often. Uh, and we're super excited that the team from Polar Cool is going there. Uh, and also the fact that the responsible researchers for this clinical trial also will be there. And that the abstract has been accepted uh, to be shown there. and. Uh, it's a major conference where all the biggest uh, uh, persons from the medical community surrounding concussions around the world will be there. Mm -hmm. All the major organizations will be there. FIFA will be there. World Rugby will be there. The IHF will be there. Literally all that are significant in, in the world of, uh, of concussions will be there. Uh, so we're, we're super excited to go there. We have already uh, had meetings uh, with high-level persons from some of those organizations uh, and we're planning to meet them there uh, also of course and uh, now having this in our hand will definitely not be a negative thing for us and it's something that we know that a lot of these um, government bodies have been waiting for so we're super excited to go there and, and uh, present this uh, firsthand. It sounds great. And thank you so much, uh, Eric, for joining us today and telling us more about uh, these fantastic results that, that you were able to publish. And we look forward to following Polar Cool uh, as it moves on with this journey to becoming the go-to concussion treatment for athletes around the world. Thank you for tuning in to this conversation with Polar Cool CEO, Eric Anderson, regarding the five-year study results with Polar Cap, published in the Journal of Neurotrauma. And thank you so much, Eric, for joining us today. Thank you, Michael.